Welcome back to my channel. We're doing normal makeup. I'm really excited because I tried out the Pixie Beauty products that I got and I am using their liquid lipstick, their highlighter. It's really pretty. Can you see it? <laughs> How could you miss it? And then their eyeshadows as well as their liquid eyeshadow, which is the gold on my eyeballs. It's very, very pretty. If you'd like to see how I created this look, you can just keep on watching. So starting off with my face oil from Pink Cosmetics. Just applying like one drop over my entire face and then using my fingertips to rub it in, massage it in and just fuse it into my skin. It's just going to add some moisture and glow. Using my MAC Fix Spray, this is the mattifying one, just spraying it over and then fanning it dry. We're going on to Makeup Revolutions Cream Stick Foundation. This foundation is extremely glowy, but I feel like it gives my skin a porcelain-like finish. Using my Real Techniques foundation brush, I'm just using it to pat in the product into my skin. So I'm using like little pressing motions just to make sure the product gets pressed into my skin. Moving on to my Becca Concealer, I'm doing a little triangle, upside down triangle underneath my eye. Just pressing that into the skin as well, trying to keep it in that allocated area. And then the leftover product, I'm just taking over the eye and the forehead. Going in with my Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. As you can see, I didn't set my foundation. I want this look to kind of all merge together and be glowy, so I'll use powder at the end. Just using it to bronze up the face around the perimeters, so that's the forehead, around the cheekbone, and around the chin. Also going on the sides of the nose, as you can see it's making a big difference in the shaping and the color of the foundation's finish. I'm going in with a, hi with a highlighter from Pixie Beauty. I'm just dusting it over the cheekbones lightly, the tip of the nose, the cupid's bow and slightly over the forehead. Using their eyeshadow palette, I'm going to use a combination of the plum and a brownish orange to go onto the cheeks. Then using some baby powder, I just tried to cut out the contour. I'm also going to use the baby powder underneath my eyes as a catch net because I found that the eyeshadow palette I'm about to use has some kickback and I don't want that to fall on my foundation. Starting off with the orange and a fluffy brush, I'm just going to run it through the crease. This is going to be your transition shade. And then using another fluffy brush, just going on to the plummy shimmery shade. This one's going to go on the lid and you can just use a fluffy brush to merge the two when it gets to the crease. Moving on to their liquid eyeshadow, the shimmers. It's a goldish pink shade. But because there's a pink underneath, it's going to be more pink. So I'm using the applicator to apply the product to the lid and then just using a little flat brush to distribute it slightly more and then to just blend it into the crease slightly more even. And then just going in with a brow pencil. I honestly can't remember where this one is from. I think it might be a Maybelline one from Clix or Diskim. Just brushing the brow upwards and then just filling in the gaps. So the gaps for me would be in the end called the tail part of the brow and then just brushing the product through. Going in with a blow, a blow, a brown, we're just going to tight line. And then just going in with my Gosh Cosmetics Rebel Mascara. Just add some volume. You can add lashes to this look, but I decided to not. And then just using a clean brush, dusting off all the baby powder. And then going in with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. Just mushing everything together, making it even. Setting it once again. This was the last set. I'm going in with Edge to Edge from MAC Cosmetics. It's just a nice pink. I want it to be, the lipstick to be slightly more pink instead of brown, as I've already tried the liquid lipstick. Just topping it off with a liquid lipstick. And then going in with a pink lip gloss from MAC, because I wanted the lip to have more of a glossy finish instead of a matte one. Pat, 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 pat. Finishing the look off with some more highlight because why not? This highlight is stunning and I just wanted this look to be super glowy. Well, that is it. I'm going to leave a poll up. 
and I'm gonna give you some color combinations that I want to try in the next video I'm gonna try and be slightly more creative let's try and steer away from bronzy looks because that's literally what's coming for the summer this is a look that you would like to wear this summer I feel like it's really easy uh, three eyeshadow colors easy peasy lemon squeezy if you haven't yet please subscribe to my channel I'm just gonna be waiting here until you subscribe I hope that was long enough, <laughs> but I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. God bless you and I will see you on the next video. Okay, goodbye.